everybody thanks so much for watching today we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the new ray-ban orion model number rb2199 this is a model that i saw recently on the website they're obviously bringing the orion back which was a vintage model i think that started and originated in the 50s again was really popular in the 80s they also had a model called dallas that looked like this shape as well so i haven't done maybe sufficient research in that area. I just got the basics down so I could talk to you about kind of where it began. But um, these, I saw them, immediately had to have them. I was so prepared for these to end up being classic in my collection and I was excited to eventually pass them down someday. To who, I don't know, because I don't have plan on having kids, but it was gonna go to somebody. And my plan has kind of gotten thwarted. I am not uh, very happy with this pair of glasses and I'm gonna outline all the reasons why in the coming minutes. So, hope you really enjoy this video. I, mean, I don't know if you're gonna enjoy it, per se, me critiquing a product, but I hope that it's informative and helpful if you're looking into uh, making this model part of your collection as well. So, I'll go ahead and show you the glasses before putting them on my face and talking about all the things that's going on here. So, here they are. What was going on was I was about to pick up a Meteor um, in black with a G15 lens. I just wanted a really sleek black look, and instead, those caught my eye. And, you know, I purchased them straight away. They're 172 purchased them from official Ray-Ban, so if you're looking anywhere else, that's probably what you're going to be looking at retail price until they start, you know, until people start offering discounts, uh, which that'll probably take a while. But this is, you know, a beautiful round shape with rivets and everything, uh, acetate frame, glass lenses, seven barrel hinges, uh, really beautiful frame and a really, I mean, classic look. I mean, a really good idea in theory is what I'm trying to say, but um, I was extremely disappointed kind of right from the get go. So the first thing is I went to put them on my face. Creaking frames have joined the chat again. I don't know what the situation is. And in the past, I've talked about it a lot that I thought it was a nylon material because it was happening with the Jackie O and the New Wayfair. But I really, really think it's isolated to the lenses. I feel like maybe they're poorly cut to where they don't fit inside the frame. Maybe they have little gaps. Maybe there's like an actual defect inside where there's air going through there. Either way, it sounds cheap. It's not like you just hear it when putting them on. You hear it when opening and closing the temples as well. And it's just not worth $180 in my opinion. Another thing is there is something stuck to the hinge, which I will show you now. Here's the spot on the hinge. I have kind of a pointer right here. If you can see, it's like a pink putty colored spot. It's really hard. It's almost like kind of calcified. have no idea what it is, but there's a look at it. No idea what that is or how you would even begin to get it off if you were gonna try, but for me, I'm not even gonna, you know, there's too many other reasons why these don't work for me to bother with that. I do know that it's gonna be popular with people who, you know, love the vintage styling like that. The size is not too small. Um, even though I find it small, I do like oversized glasses, but it's gonna be good for a lot of people. I feel like also a lot of women are gonna love this look because it is very, um, I feel like it's very naturally feminine and also wearing it on the more of the tip of the nose would be kind of more of a look that I feel like a lot of people are going to really grow to like. Um, the quality though is just so lacking. I would highly suggest trying it on in person first before, you know, kind of wasting time and money getting them returned and all of that. But if you have the, you know, opportunity and want to try it, go for it. I would just rather try things on in person to know, but you know, you can't ever know until you've tried it. Your your standards and what you look for in a pair of glasses might be different than me. So I wanted to say that after I came down on them kind of hard, I'm not trying to be, you know, negative on purpose or anything, but I just like to give you my honest thoughts. Otherwise, you know, what's this channel? I hope this video has been uh, helpful uh, in some way. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Correct me if I'm wrong on anything, of course, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.